encourage you today to learn the voice of your Father. Father God, the Heavenly Shepherd, who is alive and active and sharper than any two-edged sword. And He knows how to divide. And He knows how to reveal. And He knows personal things that people need to hear. He doesn't want us quoting what other men have said. He doesn't want us being mocking birds. He has something new and fresh. He has fresh manna for us daily to pour into the lives of others who desperately need a personal touch or a personal word from God. So he wants to train us all to do that. So I want to give you just a couple testimonies and teachings of how he showed me how important it was to hear the voice of God and not just go off of maybe what I read in the Bible or what instinct told me or what I had seen in a church gathering. Um, there was a time where there was a couple that was going to come to my house uh, for some counseling and some ministry. And so before they got there, I prayed to God and I said, God, tell me what these people need to hear from me. You know, show me what they need to hear. And I just began to worship and pray and just listen for God. And he said, tell them this. And I felt led to go get a sticky note. Um, and I began to write on it. And he said, tell him this. And I'm like, okay, wrote it down. Tell them that. Okay, wrote that down. I put little bullet points by each one. And he gave me about four or five different things that I wrote down. So I think, I'm thinking that when the time comes, I'm supposed to just pull this out and just say, Hey, uh, God said blah, 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 blah. But that's not how it happened. <clears throat> they come into the house and they sit there. And the husband says, you know. I just, I wonder why does God blah, blah, blah. And I said, hold on. He wants to tell you why. And I pulled out my sticky note. I said, before you got here, he knew you were going to ask that question. And he sent me the answer already for you. And I read my first bullet point. God said, stop. So I stopped. And the next thing out of his mouth led to the next bullet point. And then the next thing out of his mouth led to the next bullet point. And God made a whole conversation where I was able to give them God's answers for them in that moment. I was able to give them God's input. And he already went ahead of us. Isn't that awesome? Praise God. I'll never forget that. It was just so important to know the voice of God and take it seriously enough to say, I'm going to say what you say for now in this moment. You know, and he taught me even before then, years before then, how important it was, you know, when you're going to pray for somebody to press into him for the way that he wants to do it, not our um, preconceived notion of how it should be or what it should look like, um, our, our usual just expectations of what we've seen in the church or whatever. Um, a man was coming to me uh, to be to receive prayer for for cancer which he got healed of that day he threw it up um and went back to the hospice or he had to cancel hospice after that day he threw up his cancer um praise god uh but anyway before he got there i'm like god what do i do this man's on his way i'd never prayed for anybody before i uh, personally laid hands on anybody and i'm like i'm scared but i know you're gonna do this like show me what to do what do i say what do i do and God gave me an outline in my spirit. And he said, tell him this. This is how you minister. Tell him this. And then tell him this. I'm like, okay, make sure to tell him this, okay? Explain this to him, all right? And so God gave me all that. And then it was so important also that I, all, I had read in the Bible that the elders would come and they would bring oil and they would anoint the sick and that they would be healed by, you know, by bringing the oil and all that. And then I had seen people take oil and pray for people. And I believe in using the oil when God leads it. But this day, God shook up my religious, my religious spirit. And I ran to the kitchen before he got there looking for my olive oil because I knew I had olive oil. And I was going to anoint this man. And I couldn't find it anywhere in my cabinets. Um, and as I'm digging, tearing them apart, 
the Holy Spirit spoke to me and he said, you don't need that oil. I am the oil. And I was like, all right. <laughs> okay, God, I'll take it. We'll do it. That, yes, sir. And so, um, I didn't get the oil. Well, I went downstairs and prayed for that man. And, uh, like I said, he was healed. But the interesting part of the story is after he was healed, he told my dad, who was his friend, he said, you know, he said, I went from church to church asking for prayer. He said, and they oiled me down like a fried chicken and nothing ever happened. It didn't work. So you see, God knew if I'd come down those stairs religiously instead of listening to God, he knew that when that man saw that oil, it would immediately have killed any faith he had because it didn't work before. And now here she comes with that oil. So God said, don't bring that. I am the oil. I'm all you need. So it's so important to listen to God's voice and his instructions. And when I went down, step by step, I ministered to this man in the way that the Lord told me ahead of time. And he was healed of cancer that day. It was a crazy story. I mean, there was all kind of stuff involved. It's mind-blowing. But anyway, I just want to give you that. I want to give you the tools to walk with God and see an abundance in your life and in the way that you minister God, the way you administer God to the world. It's so important that his voice, the Bible says, my sheep know my voice, they will not follow another. It's so important that you know the voice of the Father, that you you know it even better than your own. Because, I mean, I could have talked myself into digging for some oil and finding some oil to, to slather that man with, <laughs> um, you know, or... I could have just not written down some of the notes or gone off. But it's so important. He needs us to hearken. He needs us to be so synchronized and in tune with his voice because it's personal. Every single every single um, assignment is personal. And we have such a personal God that he knows the, the intricacies Uh, that need to happen and so that's how we lean in on him and depend on him and he gets it done so I just want to bless you with that today just a little teaching just a little something to to pray on and think about and expect and and walk out so that we can bring glory to God on this earth because that's really all that matters so I pray that you learn to walk in your purpose and that you um you just you see God more and more every day that, that you see God and the world see God sees God through you so God bless